So your children might come home with these CVC books. We call them CVC books because quite often they are full of words that can be sounded out or with the occasional keyword in them that the children would have already learned. S, id, sid, and, and, d, a. Uh. Got two letters that make one sound here. D, uh, k, duck. Sid and duck. You could ask the children before you start reading, point to who you think Sid is. This is Sid. Can you point to the duck? What do you think they're doing? They're having a bath. So then you're going to just walk through the story before you even try to read them. Look, there's a big picture of the duck. Well, there's duck. He's sitting on the tap. So you're talking about the pictures before the children have a, a go at reading them so that it gives them a clue for the vocabulary that might be coming up. So duck, like he's sitting on the tap. Oh, Sid's got in now. Sid gets into the bath. Oh, he's going to dip poor old duck into the cup. Oh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's quite cross. Duck looks really mad at Sid. So you're using the vocabulary that's there to help the children for when they do attempt to read. Oh no, look, the kit, the cup has tipped all over the rug. Oh no, I don't think anybody's going to know what we're doing. Mum's going to be very happy about that. Oh, he's blaming Duck, isn't he? He's saying that Duck did it. Oh no. I wonder if Mum believes him. No, I don't think Mum does believe him. Because she knows that ducks can't tip cups. Let's have a go at reading it. So we know a little bit about the vocabulary. And we know a bit about the story. So, duck. Duck. It's. Is. On. On. The. We know because that's a tricky word. Tap. Tap. We can read all of that sentence now. Duck is on the tap. Sid, Sid, oh, I know that because that's his name. Sid, get, no, it's four letters, so that's going to be a bit tricky to read. So I'm going to try it again. Get, s, oh, it's too tricky. I'm going to, maybe we can come back to that one. Sid, g, I'm not sure yet. In, Sid gets in. Oh, he's got some words here, he says. Go, I know that one, it's a tricky word. Go, on, on, duck. That word is the same as this word, so I might be able to remember that one. Go on, duck. Sid, Sid, dip. Again, that's four letters, that's going to be tricky for the children to read. So try it again, dip. What's he doing in the picture? Use the pictures all the way through to help. Sid dips. Duck, he's dipping him in the cup. Oh no, let's see if we can read all the sentence. Sid dips duck. Sid ducks duck. So you duck somebody, it goes into the cup altogether, doesn't it? Oh, it's going to make a terrible mess. Mm. Duck, duck, I recognise that word now. It's, is, m, ad, mad, at, at, sid, sid. Duck is mad at Sid. The k starts with k. What's in the picture that starts with k that might help us with this word? Let's have a go at sounding out. K up. K the cup. Tip. Tips up. Up. The cup tips up. Sud. Suds. Oh, I don't know what that word is. You could tell the children said these are suds. They're all soap suds. Suds go. We know go because it's a tricky word. On on. There is a tricky word. Rug. Okay, I know all of those, so I can go back and read it again. Suds go on the rug. Oh, Mum's cross. Duck. I remember that one now. D -id did it. Duck did it. No, I know that one, it's a tricky one. No, Sid, Sid. Duck, did, did, not, not. No, Sid, duck, did, not. Duck, s, ducks, c, an, can, not, not. T, ip, tip, k, up, s. Ducks can not tip cups. Then you can challenge the children to say things like, 
uh, point to the word that says go. Can you point to the word that says no? How many there's are on this page? One, two, three.